Hey everybody! Welcome to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Community Remix Mod. If you're not familiar with what this is, well, up to about two days ago, that would have made two of us. But this is uh, a community, quote-unquote, fan-made, although that kind of sounds like it's just a, you know, one person in their basement hacking this out. Or maybe it was, I don't mean to be, you know, derisive if it was, but um, it seems like a pretty concentrated effort to improve upon, uh, you know, some of the objective problems with the Binding of Isaac, you know, crashes and, you know, incorrect item text and stuff like that. And also add some new items into the game, including some of the stuff that's going to be there in Rebirth. So this is uh, basically a mod that you just kind of append to Spider Mod, and it's got all sorts of weird balance changes and new things, and I'm excited to check it out and uh, get a new sense of discovery. So we're going to play as Isaac here. And admittedly, I know there's like 20 new items or something like that, so it's almost like a miniature expansion or something like that. Oh, there's also some of the, the music that's going to be in Rebirth that you can probably see. But of course, in trademark Northern Lion fashion, I started on the seed that we used on Thursday's NLSS. So let's start this over again here. So it was very weird to hear different music when I first got down here, but that's okay. Let's see what we've got in our first item room. It is the Unicorn Horn. How disappointing. That's okay, though. We're gonna... Like, the reason I'm doing this, and I think I'm building this series, or I'm going to build this series as, like, a week of the Binding of Isaac, uh, you know, remix, or community remix. And the reason I'm gonna do that is because I don't know how much is different uh, in this versus the regular Binding of Isaac. So, worst case scenario, if we end up getting no differences between this and the original, uh, or Wrath of the Lamb Binding of Isaac, well, there's something different right there. We can get uh, a 1 plus 1 key. Instead of just the usual 1 key, that's uh, something that is going to be added in Rebirth, as far as I'm aware. I mean, yeah, if it's totally the same, then we'll just have a week that has twice as many Isaac videos. No big deal. I mean, I've already made, like, freaking 900 of them, so it's not like it's going to be uh, an enormous loss for me to make more, and I'm just going to keep making more indefinitely anyway, uh, at least uh, up until, you know, Rebirth comes out. And maybe that ends up being trashy, and then I stop. I don't know. I'm just joking. That's probably unlikely to happen. In any case, um, but if things are very different, then maybe we can continue onwards, or maybe even roll this in place of Spider Mod. Uh, until the release of Rebirth, which is, you know, presumably happening sometime in 2014. Uh, as far as everybody knows, we'll, we'll know when that release trailer comes out. So basically what I'm getting at is this is my first run of Community Remakes here. I shouldn't have picked this up yet until I went into the Cursed Room, but oh well. So I have no idea, basically, how um, how it's going to go, but I'm excited to experience it nonetheless. Looks like we're going to not be getting anything from our first item room on this floor. And it's down to the next floor, I will admit. Despite having not got really uh, anything that's that different from... Uh, Vanilla Binding of Isaac, I really love the idea that there's one plus one uh, free keys, and I think that there's uh, one plus one free pennies as well, I'm not totally sure though. There's al there's already in, you know, Wrath of the Lamb, one plus one uh, bombs. That might have been in Vanilla Isaac as well, I can't remember. I'm using Vanilla kind of like, you know, I'm using it for the original release of the game, the Halloween patch, and Wrath of the Lamb, and the subsequent patches to Wrath of the Lamb, which is probably confusing nomenclature, and I apologize, but if I keep the audience confused, that makes it harder for them to tell when I'm uh, objectively wrong. Which I think is important for my overall uh, sanity. So... I'm, oh, I've got myself a little screwed here. That's okay. We took some damage, but it wasn't red heart damage. I'm excited to see if maybe there's some new items in uh, Deals with the Devil Pool. We'll see, though. Um, one thing I will say is that there's there's something like 15, 20 new items. What that means is that, you know, mathematically speaking, if you ignore the, uh, you know, precedence of special items and stuff like that, that could have been such awful damage. Kind of just want to throw a bomb down here and, you know, get these nubs taken care of. Um, but if you ignore the precedence of special items and stuff like that, we should see a new item once every, you know, 10 items or so. And you get way more than 10 items on your average Isaac run, unless you, uh, I don't know, use the shovel and bum rush the game or just never have any keys. So, I think we will experience some new items, but it might not be like everything is new. And I've been thinking about that because, you know, the, the release of Rebirth is, is presumably, well, it's closer than it's ever been, right? Let's be optimistic. Um, and I, I'm not one of those people that is like, it needs to come out now. I, uh, I'm very comfortable with what I do with Isaac, and uh, I would rather it just comes out when it's 100% ready. But I always thought, how shitty would it be if you, like, did your first video of The Binding of Isaac Rebirth, and I was like, hey, everybody, I'm Northern Lion, here playing The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I'm so excited. We're going to see all these new items, and then, like, all of my items were just range upgrades that already exist. Alright, so we're going to be dealing with uh, Krampus here, which means I won't be re-rolling Lump of Coal. That was a bad little bit of damage there. I won't be re-rolling Lump of Coal, but I will be uh, re-rolling Mom's Lipstick. And I'm assuming that, you know, maybe item rooms and shops are where we're going to see the, the biggest change in uh, in new items. I also know there's some other things in the, uh, in the mod that may interest people. I don't want to spoil necessarily the surprise, but there are different pills. There are now Shot Speed Upgrade Pills and Shot Speed Downgrade Pills. Which I think is actually 
Uh, something that opens up a surprising amount of strategic, maybe not depth, but like, it, it makes it less strategically shallow. Now, if like, uh... Eight ball shows up because eight ball all shot speed upgrades except for cat and nine tails as far as I know um, carries some kind of objective potential benefit like uh, eight ball carries a tarot card that could be uh, the Joker it could be something amazing it could be the Sun uh, of course it could also be like um, you know the tower but anyway so you want to pick it up if you have to if you don't have any rerolls but you don't because of the shot speed upgrade now if you know that there's a shot speed downgrade pill in the rotation, you might be more likely to pick those up and get a benefit out of those. Same thing with uh, stem cells, which I already pick up anyway, but... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. This is new. It looks like a, a $3 bill, but green. Counterfeit dollar. It's a secret. Okay, so we don't know what it does. That That's interesting. Uh, oh, well, there we go. This is the only one that doesn't provide us with some kind of other benefit. Uh, so I, I'm interested to see what happens if we try to spend this counterfeit dollar. The item text said it's a secret. We can come in here and buy notched axe, lottie fucking da. Alright, well, I bought death. Death doesn't do too much for me. Uh, did that... We spent eight cents and eight cents are gone. I wonder if I was gonna make an item called counterfeit penny. Or sorry, counterfeit uh, dollar, what would it do? Well, it gave us 99 cents. Okay. Uh, it gave us 99 cents and in addition to that, maybe... I don't know, gives us more money when we pick up individual pennies? Maybe it's like a, a counterfeit, or yeah, maybe it's like counterfeit pennies trinket ability mixed with uh, the dollar bill. Or maybe there's something more nefarious that I have not noticed. Maybe it means we're not going to get any money drops for the rest of the game, although we already have. I don't know, man. We'll see. For now, we got this judgment. We're not going to get another reroll, so that shop is going to continue to be worthless for us. But at least we got a new item. I'm excited about that. Come on, Judgment, work with me here. Now, one thing that has not changed is that I am still going to drink this coffee while we play Judgment. I'm really happy that we're getting a lot of keys on this run. Oh, what the heck? It's like a half spirit, half red heart. I thought they were just combined here. Uh, oh, so it's just... I see. It's just a half spirit and a half red heart. It's literally what it is, I think. Uh, it, it gives you half a heart of each. That's kind of an interesting thing. That would be interesting for... Uh, Maybe scapular type uses, I don't know. Because I don't know how scapular works for the most part, because I'm dumb. But that's okay. We'll figure out this all in time. Book of Revelations. Book of Revelations is, is fine to have taken a book out of the rotation, I guess. And we get Mom's Contact, which is going to make uh, this run very, very easy on us, I would suggest. At least the way things are going so far. I kind of dig the addition of those, like, it's like those black and white cookies, you know, half chocolate, half vanilla. But these are half half blue, half red, I don't know, it's like a police siren or something. Am I going to call them siren hearts? Because now there's a lot of pressure on me to rename everything, you know, when I named all the stuff in, in Isaac and Wrath of the Lamb, I was, you know, a fresh-faced young pup. Just barely out of school, living in South Korea, just spouting bullshit off the top of my head, now there's all this pressure, it's like I don't want to be a sophomore slump. Kind of think Siren Hearts is okay. Uh, I think we're just gonna leave this floor as is, and we saw, you know, a pretty good deal of new stuff here. We're not gonna take Cat and Nine Tails because it's just like it still doesn't provide us with any benefit. The only reason we'd be picking it up is to prove that we can, um, you know, mitigate the shot speed upgrade later, which is the worst reason to do something. You know, we don't, no need to make ourselves uh, in a more complicated state than we already are. But we're we're having a great run right now. Mom's Contact is a uh, it's a lovely item. Probably the best tier effect in the game. Really digging the one plus one keys. Really digging the um, the siren hearts. Kind of digging the new music, although it is throwing me off a little bit. I'll admit. I mean, it's easy to forget that uh, you know what have I I've done like 900 episodes? That was terrible damage there. Uh, 900 episodes with that uh, standard binding of Isaac music in the background. It's freaking me out a little bit. I'm like something's not right here. I'm not in my normal uh, you know neural patterns. I'm gonna try to be a little bit more aggressive with my. Uh, Rerolls than I would otherwise be because I want to see new stuff. But anyway, I am gonna. My overall goal is still to try to win, as you might expect. Secret room? No. There's like some community remixed uh, songs. It sounds like too. Um, what do we have going on down here? Just more money. Still trying to see if there's anything fishy going on with this money, but that's okay. Don't spoil it for me. I know there's gonna be people who you know you could very easily go to the. Uh, Community Remix website, and it'll tell you what all the new items in the game are, and you can be like, well, this is what this does. After the run, uh, I may look it up, or I may not. I may just say, you know what, I'd rather uh, discover it as time goes on. I like I like the mystery of these games. That's one of the reasons why the genre, you know, well, 
you know, not that Isaac and Spelunky necessarily occupy the same genre anymore now that it's becoming more and more uh, occupied. But, um, yeah, one of the reasons I like games like this is that, that sense of, like, you know, you know, you don't always know 100% what's happening, but over time you sort of refine your your judgments to a point and come up with some kind of answer. Now, sure, we could trade bombs for money. It seems like kind of a terrible trade. Very happy with all the judgments that have been showing up. Why don't we talk to you and see what we got here? One of the items that is uh, on display in Community Remix is one of the ones that was announced for Rebirth called the Ludovico Technique. Oh man, so good. Uh, and if you're not familiar with it, you probably are, because it's probably the, the announcement that Edmund has made about Rebirth so far, item-wise, that has caused like the most uh, excitement. It's basically, it, it allows you to control your tier individually. So you, instead of getting like a stream of tiers, you just get one big tier, and then you control it, um, you know, via your keyboard or your mouse, the same way you would control like Epic Fetus. Um, but it, it's uh, not as like overpowered as Epic Fetus, I guess, it's just... Uh, it, it opens itself up to more synergy, would be the way that I would describe it. Um, but I haven't seen it yet. Hopefully we have a chance to encounter it. I assume that it's probably one of the special items. Uh, because some of the synergies seem crazy. Like with Brimstone, you get like a, a big burning ring of Brimstone, basically, if you remember the Johnny Cash song. Um, I'll take it, because I want to experience some of the new pills. If, if we get them. Uh, okay, it's three puberty pills. And shot speed up, which I love that shot speed up made him go like, off oh, F. That's funny. All right, well, we'll reroll Peeper's Eye next. All right. I can imagine Biznab being so frustrated by the fact that there's a shot speed upgrade pill. Like, I can I can totally imagine him getting a health downgrade pill and being like, yeah, that's part of the, you know, the risk of the game. And he gets a shot speed upgrade and he's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Bullshit. Anyway. Um, I mean, there's no need to really buy the Steam Sale. I would rather reroll Steam Sale and buy... Uh, or re reroll Steam Sale, buy whatever it is that gets put in its place, and then take Peeper's Eye with me, even though Peeper's Eye is not, you know, truly amazing. We should be able to very easily get a reroll here. Oh, careful there. Counterfeit uh, dollar is still kind of freaking me out here, but that's okay. In a weird way, when there's like the the old music, it kind of feels like a warm hug. I'm not. I haven't been one of those people either. That's like. You know, why are you changing the music? The music's perfect. Uh, you know, change change can be good sometimes. Change can be bad sometimes. I don't really care. Um, the music in Binding of Isaac, the, the, the original in Wrath of the Lamb and the Halloween track, um, it's great, you know? I'm sure the music in Rebirth will be, at, at the very least, serviceable as well. I haven't heard too much of it, but I, I don't believe that it's... I have no reason to believe it's going to be worse. I have no reason to believe it's going to be better either. But if they're changing everything, almost, they uh, why not change that as well? All right, I got to stop taking so much awful damage here. We just gotta relax a little bit. These should be very easy kills. Yeah, if we could just freeze them, that makes my life several uh, orders of magnitude more simple. Good. And we have one last reroll on this floor. We do have Nun's Habit, which is fantastic. I am digging the, the snaps in the background, though, I'll admit. Now. Ladder. I mean, okay, I'm gonna buy it. The only reason I bought this is because I have so much money. I was wondering, like, I had all this, like, these questions swirling in my head. I was like, if I take dollar bill, like, are the, or counterfeit dollar, sorry, sorry, are the police gonna come and catch me? Like, if I spend this at a shop, is there a risk the shopkeeper will turn into greed or something? Like, that's it. I've, I've, anything could happen again. I've got this sense of kind of, like, dread plus mystery going on. All right, my eye is looking pretty jacked up there. Even more jacked up than your average peeper's eye. But that's okay. It's down to Catacombs Part 2. Not gonna take any of those puberty pills. Let's see what we get here. Uh, perfect. I would very much love to have a, a useful shop. Can't really complain because I got Nun's Habit anyway, but um, I would still love to be able to pick up something a little bit more useful. Okay, I'm taking the worst damage of all time. I think I'm getting distracted by all the the new stuff and I'm playing terribly. That's okay. Let's get uh, another deal with the devil so we can start maybe picking up some of these uh, new items that might be amazing. I did read one or two of the descriptions. You know, kind of in the same way, like... I was I was watching Breaking Bad, and I know that it's uh, 
you know, this the series has been over for almost a year, but I just finished it myself, and we, we, we watched it over the course of, like, six months. So, the series was over by the time I started watching it. And then I watched, like, the third to last episode. It's called Ozymandias. Uh, if, if you've seen the series, it's a landmark episode, of course. Lots of, um, lots of important happenings and, and changes uh, happen in that episode. And I was like, shit, dude, I gotta read what people think about this episode. Went online, started reading about it, and then just spoiled, like, the, the final two episodes for myself like a goddamn idiot. I don't know what that has to do with the situation now that I think about it, but I just wanted to point it out, I guess, as saying, like, oh, it's because I read some of the items, you know? It's just, oh, get out of there. It's just too juicy when you start to see spoilers. You're like, I shouldn't read this, but I, I will. And truth be told, I don't really mind, uh, like, narrative spoilers that much, usually. I froze my own bomb there, which actually worked out fantastically. But then I took red heart damage, because apparently uh, I've forgotten how to play the Binding of Isaac. Well, you know what it is. It's actually a uh, community remix mod has uh, changed the speed of some of the enemies, so they're uh, more difficult uh, to uh, avoid. That's what it is. Guaranteed, 100%. And the sad thing is, I still have a very good chance of winning this run. I'm going to take it. Uh, I still have a very good chance of winning this run because of the fact that I, uh, I have mom's contact. Whoa, Peeper's Eye. What's up, buddy? Oh, where, where are you going? Peeper's Eye? I kind of, like, it's a package deal here, buddy. I need you to be around, too. Let's see what this pill is. Shot speed down. Hey, health up. That's probably better. All right, so Peeper's Eye, we're learning in Community Remix, doesn't work. Which, which is actually bad for me, because I need to figure out what the attribute upgrade of Peeper's Eye is. Which I have never actually like gone through the trouble because I've always been like, ah, you know, it just kind of flies around there. It's good enough. Uh, now I've got to be like, well, do I really want to pick up Peeper's Eye? It's only like a 0 0.4 tiers upgrade. I could get something better. I don't know, man. That's that's my answer to that question. All right, let's look for secret rooms because it, it feels like the Ankh or the One Up would be very useful for me in a situation like this because I seem to be playing absolutely god awfully. Uh, sure, I'm not gonna play that. Maybe if I played that, I would figure out what counterfeit dollar bill gets used for. But for now, I'm um, living in a mystery like a Sarah McLaughlin song. Not that Sarah McLaughlin song from the, the Humane Society commercials. I don't want to bring everybody down. Now, we are going to have a reroll. We're going to use that immediately on our item room. Okay. And on our item room, I'm hoping to see something good, but I'm also hoping to see something new. It's very weird, because I'm so in this, like, pattern on Isaac, where I'm like, Mom's Knife. I want to see, like, Mom's Knife, Polyphemus, Quad Shot, you know, a damage upgrade, something like that. Now I'm like, just give me give me something new, even if it sucks. Uh, it's a speed upgrade. I don't know if I can be trusted with a speed upgrade, given the way that I've played lately. Is this the same amount of money that I had earlier? Have I perhaps had some kind of interaction. I had this, this is, uh, we did a challenge run, oh, it was like a year and a half ago now. Uh, and the way that it worked is I had to close my eyes and reroll and then pick up an item and guess what it was. Just based on the effects that I had. And this is exactly the same kind of feeling of, not uneasiness, but like, uh, uncertainty that I had when I did that. It was always like, I would probably pick up like dollar bill or coat hanger or something and I'd be like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 whoa, whoa. Did I get the pentagram? Are my shots doing more damage? Yeah, I think my shots are doing more damage now and people are like, you just got, you got an HP upgrade, man. Like your HP went from three to four. Maybe nothing's happening with dollar bill or maybe fucking everything's happening with dollar bill. Who knows, right? I don't know if there's any new books, but I figured for one key, we could at least check this out. Uh, yeah, that turned out to be very much worth it. And the way that we'll probably handle this now is we'll go into our curse room. Our HP is obviously in a terrible state here, I'll admit. But we'll go down to our curse room. That'll give us a reroll if we have to reroll the curse room. We will. Otherwise, we'll go reroll the item room, and then we'll uh, leave the floor without playing the blood bank as much as I would have liked, aka at all. But that's, you know, my own fault for taking so much damage. Spirit hearts, please. Uh, those are those are spirit hearts. Okay, we can play the blood bank a little bit. The question is how risky I want to get here. And the answer is a little. Like I would really like to get the blood bag. Uh, could reroll the library as well, but not really my style. Ah, but we have nuns habit. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. I my brain was like, you should really go back. And I was like, oh, brain, come on, though. Like, I just want to reroll the item room. And it's like, no, you know, you know the rules now. You can afford to backtrack a little bit and reroll the library to become a double item room. If you have to take the speed upgrade, that's okay. It was like, it was like my dad became my brain, or my brain became my dad. 
which I guess in a weird kind of philosophical way is not totally baseless, but anyway. I'm gonna caffeine up here. I'm feeling a little sluggish, and uh, that's uh, just sluggish with an umlaut, which is also how I tell people how to spell my name. Now, let's gamble a little bit. Would be nice to have Bloody Penny. That's okay, though. Are we gonna gamble like crazy? F yeah, we're gonna gamble like crazy. As much as we can slash have to. I really wish I'd saved some red hearts, but that's me being an idiot. But I can always use a bomb and then go gamble on that slot machine a little bit as well. Um, so this is Book of Shadows. I mean, we can do the same thing with Book of Shadows, right? Like, we can go play that Blood Bank as much as we want. You might argue that it's better to get down to, like, a half heart first and then play, then use Book of Shadows, but mostly I just want to get the Blood Bag slash IV Bag. So, whichever one shows up, uh, whether it's just, like, a lot of money or the payout, it doesn't really matter to me. We may or may not be able to reroll the library again if I don't end up getting, uh, or if I end up breaking the Blood Bank, but that's worth it in my mind. Also, maybe counterfeit dollar? Why well, even pick up the money there? That's foolish, but maybe counterfeit dollar allows you to, uh... I'm thinking about the situation, okay? I, I had a train of thought there. I was gonna say maybe counterfeit dollar increases the drop rate of, like, nickels and dimes. Uh, but the other thing we could do is also just, like, instead of re-rolling the library, just get, like, yeah, that's what I was gonna say, although it kind of worked out the opposite way of what I wanted to, is get Nun's Habit Charges on um, Book of Shadows and then, you know, abuse that to get the Blood Bank uh, to pay out with the Blood Bag, which is how we made it work. Means we won't be able to reroll these again, but I think it still kind of worked out in our favor. I'm not even gonna pick up the speed upgrade. I think our speed is adequate as is. Maybe, oh, it's quicker now even than it was before, so I'd say this floor went very well, but it was a little unusual. And that's okay. We'll, uh, we'll move on to the next floor. Okay, the depths I can deal with. We have been dealing with uh, the harder versions of the floors up to this point. So what do I want out of this run uh, at this point? I want uh, tiers upgrades. I know there's a particular item in uh, Community Remix that can facilitate that if it happens to show up. Uh, but I don't want to spoil that in advance. You know what I feel like right now? This is actually a way more perfect analogy than I ever would have expected to work. In the early to mid 2000s, uh, when the Spike TV network launched, their one of their flagship shows was a hybrid of trampoline and basketball called Slam Ball, which was a sport that they made up because it was extreme. You bounced on a trampoline and, and scored slam dunks, basically, right? Slam Ball never took off, really, which is why you're probably, you, if you're a little bit younger or you know from another country, you're like, what the fuck is Slam Ball? Yeah, you know. Back in, back in that era, we tried to reinvent every sport um, to make it more extreme because we were dumb. See the XFL. Uh, two of clubs. I guess I'll keep it for now. Uh, anyway, long story short, they got professional basketball commentators. Not, you know, top tier professional basketball commentators, mind you, but like, you know, played a couple of games. That's a new book there. Played a couple of games in the NBA like 30 years ago. Book of Despair. I don't know what it does. I hate to do this. It might be super useful, but my strategic mind won't let me. I really want to reroll it. Okay, I'll take it with me. We'll see what it does. Anyway, um, they got uh, professional basketball commentators. Tammy's head in the angel room. Really? Um, they got professional basketball commentators to comment uh, commentate it, and they would be like, "Well, he's really bouncing up on the trampoline there." Um, it's not really something you see in the NBA, but good. this is slam ball, right? And then, that's what I feel like right now, is like, I kind of want to give like strategic analysis, but at the same point, I'm cognizant of the fact that these videos are more of a spotlight than any kind of like strategic thing going on. Bombs are key, alright, it doesn't really matter. Um, we'll check out our secret room, which turned out to be basically meaningless and will just cost us a bunch of health. So, Book of Despair, it's got a tear on it, the book is red, let's try to use it on, um, on a room, I'm assuming. Like, maybe we'll try to use it on this boss room and we'll see if it gives us a benefit. Oh, yeah, I had a feeling that might happen. Careful. Uh, yeah. I, I don't know what this does. If I had to guess, like an educated guess just by looking at the item, 
I would suggest maybe it gives you rage for a room. Oh, this is new too. Okay, what's this? Sister, it's a new Sister Maggie. All right, maybe to make it look different than Brother Bobby. Interesting. Oh, Peeper's eye just like shot right through him. Maybe it gives us, it's not just like a Book of Belial uh, clone, I think. I don't know, it's weird. I almost just want to reroll the, the rooms again. I can't really, I'm not really conscious of an effect right now. It does feel like it improves our damage. Maybe it does give us rage for a room or something. I don't know. We seem to be hitting hard, but. So what? All right, so there's Tammy's head in that room, which we could have re-rolled if I didn't take Book of Freaking Despair, but. Oh well. I'm saving, I, I might as well use the Two of Clubs card, because I'm going to save the uh, Stars card for the next floor. I think I'm going to start re-rolling uh, Book of Despair. I'll look up what it does, because I'd like to be able to use it properly in the future, but for now, I seem to be uh, ignorant of it. Let's just move on. Necronomicon might be the last book in our uh, rotation here, which would be very nice. So our HP is good, damage is good, uh, tier effects fantastic. We'll just see if we can uh, string together a winning run out of this. I hope there's not new bosses. Well, I actually, I hope there are new bosses, but I, I'm not aware of them, so I'm a little intimidated. I don't think it is. I think it's just just a few items, uh, a few pills, you know, things kind of uh, tweaked in that way. Okay, you and you. It's weirdly, uh, it, well, let's just put it this way. It's weird to be unfamiliar of Isaac items again. I mean, I. There's never been a time when I've been 100% conscious of what every Isaac item does in great detail. And that's part of the fun. But not knowing anything about what it does is giving me this weird feeling of like being back in, you know, in my teaching job in South Korea being like, you know, racking my brain, what the heck do these things do? It's, it's a very unusual kind of nostalgia here. I like it, but it's freaking me out a little bit. It's nice to have something that breaks up the Isaac routine a little bit. People always ask me, like, why do you still play Isaac? Aren't you getting sick of it? Admittedly, no. Like, people always, they're trying to needle you to be like, you just play that for, because people watch it, right? First off, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Why do you think anything on television is on air? It's because people watch it, you know? The, from the best art to the worst fucking reality TV schlock. But anyway, I, I actually genuinely look forward to playing Isaac uh, every time I play it. Uh, these items, they're fine, but I'd rather reroll them for new stuff if possible. Um... I genuinely enjoy the, like learning new stuff about Isaac, and it seems like you know every couple of months I learn some kind of new tactic that improves my skills a little bit. I get a little bit more knowledge about some kind of weird synergy, and and the play is like constantly evolving, which is crazy for a game that uh, you know came out three years ago and was supposed to be small. Um, it's it's really cool, uh, but it's nice to have something that breaks it up as well and, and forces you back uh, you know outside of your comfort zone. We've done that a few times with challenge runs and universal item pools and stuff like that. I, uh, I can dig it. Am I really gonna reroll Sacrificial Dagger? I think I am. Peeper's Eye is pretty freaking weird now, but yeah. I'll, uh, I'll reroll Sacrificial Dagger and we don't need the bombs. Obviously, I could have made better use of the Two of Clubs card if I'd known that there was gonna be a 10 bombs uh, item available. Oh well, though. Ah, it was a botched bomb. That's okay. Oh, careful. Careful. Uh, I'm gonna throw a bomb in here. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time against these guys. It's another pill. Um, bombs are key. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take it. Ten keys I love. Uh, I wish I hadn't taken it yet. <laughs> I wish I hadn't taken it until I picked up those keys. So at least we'd have like three bombs right now, but whatever. Uh, our key situation is basically sorted for the whole game. So let's walk it back here. Watch, I'm gonna look it up after the run and it's gonna be like, Book of Despair! Or like. Times two the effect of Book of Belial for one room. I don't know. I don't know. So we get Dead Bird, and this is a new one. It hurts. What does it do? Uh, I think I'm faster? I feel faster. Whether or not that comes with an associated upgrade in something else, I don't know. So what was that? That was like, uh, it was a needle. Like a sewing needle. I don't know. I don't know what that does. I do appear to be faster, though. I feel faster. I feel smoother. It's not just an HP upgrade, was it? I'm not an idiot. 
Well, I'm not an idiot specifically evidenced by this situation. Second, check out what we've got in our shop here. Mom's purse, yeah, I'll take with me. I don't know if there's new trinkets, but sure. No need to buy that uh, tarot card, I think. And I guess we're gonna take that bird and we're gonna leave. So we actually have gotten pretty lucky with getting some new items here. I think, you know, what I might do is look up what the items do, all of them, after this. Uh, just so, on the next episode, you know, we got this episode with a little bit of, what the heck's going on? And next episode I can come back and be like, alright, here's my rudimentary knowledge of what's going on here. I think that might be kind of a happy medium for people, myself included. Or at the very least, I'll look up the the uses of the items that I've already picked up in the game. How's that? That way we still get that sense of mystery on items that, uh, on items that I haven't seen, but on items that I have seen, you know, I've gone through it, I've tried to guess for myself, I've had my fun, and now it's time to blow your conscience over me? I'll admit, you know, as far as REM tracks go, Blue Crush, not Blue Crush, <laughs> that's a Kate Bosworth movie about surfing, you ding dong, uh, Orange Crush, not necessarily my favorite. More of a, um, you know, uh, Radio Free Europe guy. Talk about the passion type thing. Now, get the heck away from me. Uh, happy to see that Community Remix has still kept in everybody's least favorite fucking enemy in the game. That's not a knock on the people that developed Community Remix. They should be in the game. I just fucking hate them. You know, it's like, uh, it's like black jelly beans, man. You wouldn't appreciate the green ones if it were not for the black ones, so... I, uh, I understand why Massive Infamy have to be here. Even though I sometimes wish they were not. Oh, careful. Ah! That's alright, we're playing a little bit better. I think I'm relaxing a little bit. It's weird to say, but you know, just being even slightly out of your routine can, uh, it can throw you off a little bit. I wonder if the, uh, AI's improved on Dead Bird, if that's something that happened in Community Remix. I'm gonna go ahead and say I probably doubt it. Not to be cynical or anything like that, it just seems like kind of an unlikely change, but if that was something that was changed, that would be awesome. Come on, there we go. Ooh, fly is very quick. So I'm trying not to go to this uh, arcade yet. Look at this, like, drive-by shooting they set up for me here. I'm trying not to go to this arcade yet because uh, we can instead go to it after uh, we find a room so we can generate some rerolls. And I would love to find a shop with a compass right off the bat, see if there's a library on this floor, and, and uh, you know, make our decisions from that point onwards. There's our item room. So at least we have one room. You know, beggars can't be choosers, I guess. We mostly just wanted some indication that there was some kind of useful room down here, and we got it. Try a little tricky uh, deke here. Oh, that was uh, not an advisable move. Okay, let's try this one. And good. Okay. That's holy water. Holy water gets rerolled into mom's pad. Neither of those are new items, and neither of them particularly good for us given our current standing. Uh, but we have a reroll pedestal, or sorry, we have a reroll engine in that uh, arcade, so I should definitely go there before I. Well, maybe not definitely. Why not definitely? Because I could end up gambling too much and getting myself into a, a whole buttload of trouble. Maybe we'll save our gambling for a little bit later, just so we can get. Uh, we can uh, see how our HP is going to look on this floor as time goes on. It's my philosophy, at least. I almost really want Spectral Tears here, weirdly enough. Not normally something you want, but on a room like this, it, it can really help out. So I could, you know, get an extra reroll. One third of a reroll, I guess, by just leaving and coming back, but I don't think that's totally necessary. No greed in here. Money has not been an issue for us in this run ever since we picked up that uh, counterfeit dollar. Which I still don't know what it does, but I'm gonna hazard a guess. If I have to, you know, if you're gonna put me on trial and say you have to guess right or, you know, we're gonna chop off your head or something like that, I would say gives you a higher drop rate of uh, other items. I'm gonna take it. I know people are gonna be salty about this, but uh, it's, it's very unlikely to affect our other items. Or maybe the synergies actually work now. Plus, this gives us a much better chance of winning. But, if I end up not being able to appreciate a synergy as a result of this, uh, by all means, you know, be slightly perturbed, which I would say is a uh, maximum appropriate level of, uh, of despair for some kind of mistake like that. But, 
I think what people, one of the things people really want to see out of Rebirth, and one of the things people really want to see out of Community Remix, is synergies where synergies didn't exist before. So, for example, uh, like Mom's Knife Ludovico technique or something like that. Um, obviously, a synergy didn't exist there before because Ludovico technique was only recently added into the game. Okay, so far, you know, Community Remix is feeling a little bit more like it's like an acoustic cover or something of Binding of Isaac. It's not like, you know, Remix to Ignition. Oh, interesting. Okay, so the Polaroid has just been turned into an item now. I shouldn't have used my key to open the item room, but it doesn't really matter. It helped us out a lot, a lot with the mom's heart boss fight. Um, yeah, so the Polaroid has now become an item, not a trinket, which means we can actually take multiple trinkets with us, which is actually pretty sweet. We got Guppy's tail. We're not going to become Guppy, so I'm going to reroll it. And we get Guppy's paw, which basically guarantees us a win at this point, I'd say. So we're going to go pretty hard on this. And you know what? For like one spirit heart, we can reroll it again. What the heck is that? Blood Oath, your promise. Jeez, okay, that sounds quite scary. It kind of looks. Here's my hypothesis. You know, it's it's a little bit like uh, Celtic Cross or the Wafer, in that it's. Uh, it gives us like that glow around our head. What's my suggestion of what this item actually is? Uh, I think it's maybe an itemized version of Red Patch, where the more you get hit, the more damage you do on a particular room. I may be mistaken in that, but I think it's a pretty darn good guess. Anyway, again, that's another one to look at. So what do I have to look up? Counterfeit Penny, It Hurts, or whatever the item was actually called. I didn't look at the item name, just the description. Um, Blood Oath. I think there was one more, maybe. Oh. So there's a permanent Polaroid invincibility working out very well for us. The more things change, the more they stay the same. This is very much a uh, traditional looking, you know, kind of Wrath of the Lamb esque run here. Permanent Polaroid invincibility, uh, Mom's Knife via Guppy's Paw. And I wish I'd picked up Guppy's Tail, but if I picked up Guppy's Tail, I never would have gotten Guppy's Paw and Blood Oath. Just a, kind of the caveat there, isn't it? Our damage is incredible right now. Uh, it's changing color a little bit, I think, or it's uh, it's just like accented differently by the color of the background. It's very lucky. Um, we don't really need any money, so I almost think that this is like Celtic Cross. Maybe I know I already posited one possible explanation for what this is, uh, but I think maybe it's like Celtic Cross instead of being exactly like the Red Patch, where like every few times we get hit, like maybe every three or four times we get hit. It, it gives us, for one room, like a Book of Belial effect, or like a Devil Card effect, or something like that, but that's that's just my guess. It's called Your Promise, though. Uh, or the, the description was Your Promise, I don't know. We'll see as time goes on, for now. Double Loki, and hopefully a uh, Deal with the Devil room where I can experience some new items. Hopefully. We do have a Deal with the Devil room. Uh, we can't pick up anything. Just want to reroll it and see if there's something different. There's not. So, we'll move on. At least I, I did that so I would know if I was missing out on some items, but thankfully I appear not to be. Alright. Wouldn't it be great if this ended up being like the most overpowered run and I just had no idea? Like Mom's Contact, Mom's Knife, Permanent Polaroid Invincibility with a lot of Spirit Arts is already very good. But if, oh, and the Compass of course. But if there was like some synergy with the items that I got made it basically impossible for me to lose, but I was just totally ignorant of it. I was just like, yeah this run seems okay, I don't really know what these items do though. Oh look, I won possible it's possible this could also be a, a terrible run relative to the standards of community remix I have no idea I'm flying blind here yeah, just be cautious here I've taken way too much damage I don't think the color uh, behind us is actually changing uh, the the color that we got from blood oath that is really thought this would be the way to the boss room uh, I guess we'll reroll stem cells it just becomes another HP upgrade, like the one time I don't want HP upgrades. Could gamble on the blood bank, I think it's a very, very foolish decision though. We don't even want the HP upgrade. Nor do we want uh, IV bag, both of them would be pretty much worthless for us. Our damage is, is super good. Like beyond mom's knife normal levels. So I think blood oath does give us something in the way of damage, what a terrible bit of uh, HP loss there. I'm not sure. 
I think I'm on the right track, though. People probably watching and giggling right now with how far away I am, but that's okay, too. All right. Mom's contact, mom's knife. Oh, wow. Uh, one heck of a shot there. We should be able to beat mom's heart, like, before Duke of Flies even gets spawned. Or as Duke of Flies gets spawned. I botched that shot a little bit, but still, I was right. Yeah, no Duke of Flies. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Put on my Jerry Londegard voice for that one. And a little bit of a spirit heart up to the next floor. I mean, this is looking pretty much over right now. Man, that's good damage. Uh, that being said, I've had a good run on Community Remix. I think the decision to not make it, like, necessarily its own separate series. Like, for a while when I heard about Community Remix, I was like, I'm going to run two Isaac series at the same time indefinitely. And then I asked people who had played it more, and they were like, y you know, it's it's nice, it's good, but you should probably not do that, because it, it ends up being very, very samey to Isaac. And I think they're right, so... You know, we'll, we'll do like a, a week special on this to, to hopefully experience all the, the new items, or most of the new items at least. And then maybe I'll mix it up uh, occasionally with um, regular Isaac as well. The same way we do like random character runs instead of just exclusively Isaac all the time. Um, and the same way we used to do like universal item pool runs and something like that. Maybe that would be uh, a nice treat. But for now, we'll, we'll stick to a week of it for now because I want to, you know, get those new items into my brain as quickly as possible. Especially the ones that are going to end up in Rebirth anyway. Uh, so that I can, you know, maybe get a little bit of a head start. You know, it's like a summer reading list when you're going into, you know, AP history or something next year. I don't know if we had AP in Canada, actually. There were some IB programs. Not at my school, though. We had IBS programs. It's called Go to the Toilet. You better have a hall pass. Now, I can't believe that that, that fly... I, I Kudos to it for hitting me. I couldn't believe that it didn't die on the first hit, though. Oh, that was beautiful right there. Elegant. Where the heck is our boss room? That demon judgment can F right off. Okay, more bombs is actually quite helpful, maybe. And the chest is where we get, you know, four item rooms. So I can really start to, uh, hopefully, have a chance to see even more new items. But truth be told, I'm happy with the amount of new items we saw on this run. Uh, kind of a surprising amount. You know, I expected we'd maybe see one or two. I think we saw three or four, which is better. Nicer, at least. And I like this a lot, too. These, like, half-spirit hearts. I think that's a very logical addition. It's something that I'd never thought about until I saw it. And after I saw it, I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. There's half-red hearts. Why shouldn't there be half-spirit hearts? I mean, there's not any kind of, like, lore prevention. Even if there was, who cares? Oh. Okay. Plenty of keys, that's what we need here, and uh, this should be super easy. Just get the freeze, and I'm gonna try to stand right next to him, even though it's a little risky. Just because if the freeze, like, we want to make sure that we have the freeze on as much as possible. Which means we want to hit him with the knife as much as possible, which means we want to be as close as possible. Alright, here we go. Harlequin baby. Sack of pennies. Blood rights. The relic. So we're gonna pick up blood rights, reroll everything else. Wanna see some new stuff. Uh... This is actually like a, like, Rosary plus Lard is a very decent haul for the chest. I mean, those are items that get substantially better on the chest relative to how they are in the, the earlier game. No question about it. That being said, uh, we're not going to take them either way. Because we want to reroll them into something perhaps more, uh, more exciting. Mr. Boom. Not worth very much at all, is it? Alright, Pestilence. I'm, I'm taking a little bit of dumb damage here. It doesn't really matter, though. Our, our win is basically guaranteed. And Rage? I might just pick up Rage right off the bat. And we should pick up Mr. Boom and then... That's not Mr. Boom. Wait a minute. That is Mr. Boom. It's just had its its graphic changed slightly. That's weird. Um, Alright, what do we have here? Toothpicks, Remote Detonator, Spider Butt, and the Hourglass. Pretty terrible haul here. I am going to work our way over to that boss room, but... Um, I am also just going to try to get as many rerolls as possible. Like, we might end up milking the chest as much as we can here. Because I I want to get as many rerolls as we can and experience as many new items as we can. Because that's really the draw, right? That's how I, that's what I feel is the draw anyway. You might disagree, and that's totally fine as well. No. I basically resolved myself to the fact that I'm going to take damage. And that's okay, you know? Life, life marches on. Let's caffeinate a little bit here because we're in for the long haul. 
Mr. Boom's new face is freaking me out. Kind of looks like a ferret or something. Okay, so this is the D12. What does the D12 allow you to reroll? Not this. At least, you know, we got the D12. I really like the uh, the model for the... Oh, I used puberty by accident. Uh, I really like the model for the D12. But I don't know what it does yet. D6 allows you to reroll items. D12 allows you to reroll... Um, Consumables. I wonder if D12 allows you to reroll something like bosses or something or enemies on a room. Shall we take it into a room just to try it? That would be pretty crazy if that's how it worked. Uh, I really doubt it is. Probably allows you to reroll something else that I just can't think of right now, but that would be sweet if that's how it works. Let's give it a try. Oh, we don't have it charged up yet. That's all right. We'll, we'll get some charges for it. It should only take uh, a few rooms, especially if we get hit, which we always do. Often do, I guess. Oh, there we go. Uh, okay. Well, it actually takes a long time to charge up. Maybe it rerolls. Oh, we know it doesn't reroll items. I was gonna say maybe it rerolls both items and enemies, or both items and consumables, but there's obviously no way it actually does that. I'm gonna just take this one right now. Um, there's obviously no way it does that because uh, it didn't reroll the items on the pedestal. All right, I have no idea. We've sacrificed enough uh, D6 charges to try to figure out what it does. I'll just look it up. I remember being confused about items in the original Binding of Isaac as well, and being like, what does this do? I don't get it. And then, you know, all of a sudden, once you know it, it becomes super clear, but, you know, it's easy to be on the peanut gallery, is what I'm trying to say. All right, we're, we're running out of spirit arts. We should probably speed this uh, bad boy up a little bit so we don't lose. Mind you, the exploration is, is the main draw of this uh, series anyway, I would say. We probably only need, like, three spirit hearts to be, beat Blue Baby with this run. What the heck is that? Enigma bomb. Random bombs! Oh, that's a super cool item. I'm really glad that got added. Um, that's very neat. So we put down a bomb. It's like a Mr. Mega poison bomb. Mind you, we already have all poison bombs, so I, I hope it stacks on top. So that, like, since we have poison bombs, it's random plus poison for everything. That might give you, like, just a poison poison bomb, which would probably be worthless. What the heck is this? We got an E key. It's a golden key. Maybe it's just a new skin for the golden key. And not like some kind of special golden key. I don't know though. Weird. Uh, Enigma Bomb seems like a super cool item though. Like that plus Pyro would be a really interesting challenge run, I think. Uh, we're not going to use the Forget Me Now because the D6 is essentially its own Forget Me Now. Only better because you can use it way more often and it doesn't cost you the D6 to, you know, it doesn't cost you getting rid of the D6, I should say. I would like, like, a few more Spirit Arts to drop, just so we could milk this floor a little bit more efficiently, but so be it. One shot per boss is a pretty good place to be. I'm glad we had a very, like, safe run on the first run here, so that we could experience some of the new stuff in Community Remix without worrying too much about just surviving. Miter PhD scap Scapular. This is, like, one of the greatest possible hauls if you have Red Hearts and you're trying to, uh survive on the chest. We've actually had very good chest items here. Which is kind of funny because this is like one of the few times that I don't need or even want them necessarily. I'm really digging Enigma Bombs. That's my favorite item so far I think, but you know, Blood Oath might be amazing to figure out what it does. Um, but Enigma Bomb seems like a, it, that could be super fun to play around with. Hey, okay. I was going to say, be careful there mate. You don't want to get baited. Uh, well, you we only have like two more rooms here. I say we just go to this one. Well, I say we go to the one down in the bottom right, and then we get one last reroll and fight the boss. Truthfully, if truthfully, it probably doesn't matter what I say. It probably just you know we're stuck with what we're doing. So, yeah, uh, we're we're out of rooms basically. I hope we can still win. And truth be told, it doesn't really matter. We've won the morale victory today at the very least. So we'll come up, uh, two more rooms, last reroll, one last new item would be awesome. No, but again, I'm very happy with the items that we got here, nonetheless. What's better, Bean or Mr. Boom? Doesn't really matter. I like the Bean uh, for this situation because it won't get pushed away from the boss by any kind of bullets that they shoot out. That's my philosophy, but we should win very, very easily regardless. Oh, Bean has active recharge now. I think that was actually in the newest, like, Steam version of The Binding of Isaac. But man, oh, that makes Bean so much better than Mr. Boom. Anyway, that's Community Remix. 
episode one. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. I'm going to go look up some of those items that we had last time uh, and spoil them for you uh, in the first episode of this next part. But anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.